Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid. This is Game Saga here with another Let's Play of the NES Classic. I gotta change the title on the stream here again. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright. I'm gonna switch over here and get started. Alright, this is Norfair. We left off here in our last video. Got the ice beam here, as you can see. And like I said in the first video, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. It's been a long time since I played Metroid all the way through. So we're just gonna have to explore. Figure this out as we go. This guy's taking a lot of hits on. The one shot off stuff, but maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh, it does. Hmm. Go back and look at that. That was suspicious. Oh, that was shooting off stuff. Jump, Samus. It's tough in the lava there. You mean stuck in lava? Yeah, I've heard that idiot. This will upgrade. Got 10 missiles. I think there's an abominable wall here. Oh, there's a passage. A hidden passage. Of course, you need bombs to get through it, as you can see. That's an NES slowdown there. So much stuff on the screen at one time. You can jump up here where I'm trying to do right now. Just to wait for the box to regenerate like so. stuff far in the game I could ace in this game by by hard I could find everything you know, easily. But not anymore. I like those things are very irritating. You can irritate these so old guys or they're called very annoying. Come here. Oh, well, don't hit me. Okay, fine. With the missile upgrade. We're just 15. I don't know if we can go through or not. I need the high jump boots. Get up there. Oh, you can bomb jump if you do it for a while. Which I'm not very good at doing, as you can see. I used to know I do this the correct way, but it's been a long time since I've done it on a regular basis. This little turbo here. This would be a bit easier to do it with turbo. Oh, 
I'm not getting all the way to the ceiling yet. But you should, in theory, be able to do it. Alright, hell man, I have to go that way up. Oops. Right the jump. And got stuck in the water because of it. Alright, let's get out of that loose thing here. Those stupid things, or whatever they're called. Basically, all the names of the enemies, too. But like I said, it's been a long, long time. There's some health getting low here. Oh, yeah, let's freeze me on top. Hold that. That's a great idea. Wow, I hit the dude with like three bombs and he didn't die. Tough bomb right right there. Alright, so these little red things, you can shoot them. And the platform will disappear. Like so. That comes back eventually. If you do that while there is an enemy on, it will spend them like that forever. So the platform comes back, which is pretty funny. There's a new passage up here or not. Yeah, looks like there's not. The lighter I just didn't get it aimed correctly. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go that way, so we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit here. If it stopped being hit, that would be very helpful. Guys are pain in the butt, those little red disc things. And I'm really low on health here. Alright. In the interest of not wasting missiles, I'm gonna try to freeze this guy. And then shoot him with a missile. There you go. They say if uh, the joint hits the with a beam, ice beam, we're gonna freeze him and then shoot him once and kill him with a missile. This guy is hit with about three bombs and then go in. Get out of the lava. I'm about to die here. This is not good. Not good. It's some serious health. We're having some bad luck here, we're falling on lava and that sort of thing. So we can take these guys out and get some health from them. I'm gonna help them out, but they're the one knocking the lava. Just kind of negated the health we got. So the blue ones are easier to kill than the white ones, apparently. Hold on. Back on the screen. There we go. And then use turbo here, liberally. So to make this a little bit easier. In theory. Hmm. I don't know if the nerd that's supposed to be like that, or that's a glitch up there. You see how it's purple up at the top of the screen? It's odd. Sometimes that can be an indicator of a hidden area. Other times it's just a glitch of the game. It does that sometimes. There's 
white ones are a pain in the butt to kill. I inch forward and get the white guy over there to get back on this point. And then shoot through here and kill him so he doesn't screw me over while I jump over there. Which would have likely happened if I had not done killed him before I got there. I think so. <laughs> got knocked on a lot of them, lost more health than I would have gained. I was about to say, can we drop some health, please? That's a bad freeze job there, I did. So I have to do some of the platform to get up here. Ouch. This guy's got a lot of hits, huh? That was, uh... Probably at least 12 minutes so it doesn't look hard. The base beam. Oh, this is not time. It's ridiculous. Alright, watch this. Missile. Bam. Dead. One head. <laughs> That's pretty well. This guy, yeah, he's a platform here. To boost yourself up there. You just have to be a more powerful one to get through there, otherwise, you won't be able to get through. Ouch. On the lava. Oh, yeah, an item behind this door, probably. See those guys that are shooting fireballs? They're just like the guys in the concussion. This ice beam again. <laughs> we already have the ice beam. Anyways, that's pretty funny. That's put there. Because you can get the wave beam here in North or somewhere, and you need the ice beam to kill Metroids. You have to freeze them and then shoot them with a missile. Because they're very annoying, those blind disc things. I don't know that. I hope the ice beam comes back. I don't think I was supposed to get that. If it doesn't, I'd probably just screw myself over. Which would not be good. A nice little final but a vertical chasm here. Oh, that one didn't work very well. I would like that guy to fall out so I can get back up here. And I just refroze him. That was smart. That is, I made with already. But he had not. Alright, alright, yeah. I'm going here now. Four of these things. Alright, please don't stop the screen and leave me alone. I'll leave me alone. I love that. Lots of bombing in North Air. Lots of hidden areas to go through. Oh, missile upgrade. I forgot how strong missiles are in this game. Oh, another missile upgrade, two on one screen, basically. Missiles are overpowered. Pretty much your best weapon until you get the screw attack. Which is much later in the game. Boop, boop. Something the the uh, noise door makes is pretty funny. Alright. Go down here somewhere. There we go. Just 
sir, or just saying. No, they not matter. Yep, oh, that's all great. Things are all over the place, huh? Is that like a fourth or fifth one? There's another one. Wow, let's keep coming. Well, it's not like we're not using them. So we're going to help with uh, take out every enemy we can, basically. There's another one. That's three on this uh, one corridor here. Oops, bomb lava. You get five missiles on each uh, upgrade there. You can see it's going from 26 to 31. Sometimes there's bombable areas like this one right here where you bomb down there and you can't go anywhere after you do, which is, seems kind of strange. Like a red herring, I guess. I don't know if that jump. Sometimes you actually unfreeze a guy by shooting him again after you've already frozen him. Which I just did there. Which is pretty stupid of me. Alright. If I missed the guy twice, then that's, that's fine. We'll just skip him. Don't have to kill him. So. I think it's wasting your time. Boo, boo. This is the door we were in before. So I remember that purple one been over there. We had to freeze it and bomb in there. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, we're going to hear you anymore. It's not about the door we came into. We're going. Wow, a missile will not kill those guys. Good to know. You cannot kill them with a missile. Guess you have to use a score attack or something. I don't know. Maybe that's why that wasn't killing them while I was freezing them repeatedly. Sometimes the game glitches like it just did there, where Samus will go off this curve and disappear entirely from the screen. One time I actually managed to jump over the guy for once. Sometimes the enemies will do that kind of thing where they want like, to uh, fly around the bottom of the ground. It's kind of function like Mario, if you're standing close to him, you won't spawn any en enemies. But you know. That was close. <laughs> Now we are getting our butts kicked here. Holy crap, run. Twelve hit points, I'm about to die. Two hit points, oh my god, that's not good. Yep, I just died. I've not died in this game in a long time, man. Oh, that sucked. So if you die, it puts you back in the beginning of the area where you were. As you can see, it's putting you back in the beginning of warfare, which is where we are. Let's try this again, and hopefully not die. Go use an energy tank. I don't know where one is off the top of my head, but... 
the way he's on. So that was the original my head. So I had a uh, pipe thing there, move out of the way, so I had a feeling it would have hit me otherwise. Let's try going down here again. This is where we were before when we died. These things can be a good source of getting back health and that sort of thing, but it's always nice better just to kill one of them each at uh, each uh, point there, and we'll leave them behind. About to die again. Yeah, I'm having a rough time of it tonight. I don't know why. I'm not normally this bad at this game. Part of the problem is, you will, come on, let's go. Part of the problem is because I don't have full health. Because when you game over, like I just did, you only come back with 30 health. You can have every energy tank in the game, and you come back with only 30 health. Why they made that decision, I don't know, but that's a really dumb decision in my opinion. Keep those guys passing the heat here. Don't need missiles, need health. Full concept. That's garbage. Doing is nobody's dropping off. There we go. Uh -huh. I like what five or six in a row, they didn't drop anything. I need missiles. Not that I already need missiles at this point, but it's better than nothing, I guess. <sighs> this game gets much, much easier once you get the screw attack. So it just wrecks people. It's always you can trick an enemy like that by keeping them on the edge of the screen like the purple guy is. I 
That allows us to access the other one there. And get rid of him so we can get rid of the first one. There's edging four there to trigger the enemy. I'm gonna freeze them and go by them. Oh, that was a good shot right there. That was two. I usually have that the one. You don't have to freeze those guys to hit them with the uh, ice beam there. Or to hit them with missiles, rather. This just makes it easier to hit. Those guys are not going to fly into me after they unfreeze. As long as they do that, even if they're all screaming, which is annoying. Lava, about to die. Lava again. Out of 13 health. Oh, okay, that's not good. Probably gonna drop a 20, can drop only a 5. I'm gonna deal with the stupid annoying beacon. Zelda doesn't go away until you either die or fall off your health. It's like in the episode of Simpsons where Homer says, This is my everything is okay alarm. If it doesn't make a noise, then you know something's wrong. If it's the whole purpose of, uh, of the idea. Because the noise obviously annoys the bring hell out of you. Bad aim on this guy. There we go. Oh, that guy almost got me. Oh no. Oops. Almost on my muscle long. I think you can do this while high jump boots here, but I'm not sure. Can't remember. I think that I'll ask him to kill me if I'm on phrases. There we go. That was a good aim right there. Yeah, you have to freeze the guys to go up there on high jump boots. Really? Can I be an energy tank? Has to be a missile upgrade. Hmm. Going much more slowly than I normally would. Because I'm so low on health. Trying not to get killed. Then this will upgrade. There we go. I saw the stupid beeping. Got a 20 drop. You know, one of the spots where we can bomb partial part the way, but we can't go through all the way. We get all outsides. And as you can see, it needs to re regenerate in this game. To go off the screen. That's going to be a good or bad depending on your opinion. Whether you go through it or not. No, guess not. Let's look at this guy's over there off the screen. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to reappear so I can freeze him up here. I don't have to know. Yeah, problem. That was a rough go over there a little bit. 
Donald Green. Somehow we survived, though. Nice if we could find the direction we're supposed to be going instead of getting on these missile birds, but oh well. Such is life. Be cool if my bombs had a uh, freeze component to them. So I could freeze these guys on the ground. Ouch. This part right here is the part that I screwed up on big time last time. Those guys will fly out as soon as I jump over them. Try to make them appear before I do. Yep. Told you. Down here. Go through here. I think so. I know those guys are not from this particular screen. I jump boots. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. That allows us obviously to reach otherwise inaccessible areas. Hopefully, we can... whoa, well, that was close. Almost ran right into that guy. I was about to say, hopefully we can find some health here. We're really on the low end of things. See, I wouldn't be able to make that jump otherwise if I didn't face him a little bit higher than that. A lot of the high jump boots. Stupid disc guys. Well, these are platforms or enemies. Platforms. Uh, that was not good. I jumped through a fireball there and got hit by another one. That makes sense. This guy's annoying, the seahorse fire spitter thing, whatever it's supposed to be. Very irritating. Alright, throw that part on. Or just stick with this guys. Oh, that was not remotely fair. Come on. This guy's gonna show us out this little disc down here. Probably. That's probably gonna get me killed. Or maybe it's not going to. The discs, there's no one else does. Flying ones. A flying disc. Dang it, it hit me. Come back here. Got hit again. Not good. It's gonna be over time. I'm dead. This close. Gave me missiles, of course, which I totally need. I don't need help or anything. I'm only down to one hit and I'm dead. Go up here. Can't remember. Can't remember. 
Okay. Hmm. What's left? Go there first. Someone's probably gonna kill me. There's like two or three just flying this guys there. So this you gotta shoot it out and then wait for them to regenerate to jump up like so. There's an elf, although it was only five, which doesn't really help very much. Great for these guys. Bam, dead. That sucked. <sighs> very frustrating. Hopefully I can remember how to get back to, to where we were. So I freeze this guy and I end up unfreezing him next time. <laughs> there we go, wow. Like I said earlier, I'm not normally this bad at this game, believe it or not. It's just been so long since I've played third all the way that I'm making a lot of mistakes that I don't normally make. But I guess you can kind of say it's almost like a fresh, fresh, fresh uh, playthrough of the game, sort of. I mean, I have played through it numerous times before, but probably been at least 10 years or more since the last time I played through it. You guys would drop health bomb and it would be a lot easier to not get killed. At least you keep whatever items you find after your game over. That doesn't entirely screw you over. Just partially. <laughs> Looks like I had to go left there, but apparently not. This is the spot we were in, or is this the different one? This one we were already in. This is the high jump boots, I think. Then we went this way. Alright, okay. I know, so let me do this for a while. I'm stupid firing fire spitting seahorse guy. Yeah, projectile, the fire can spit out, just went through the screen. As long as that happens in the first quarter. Not do that and kill me, please. Please. One dust things. They do a number on you, man. Chase you all over the damn screen. They're fast suckers, too.
course not. Why would he drop health? That would make too much sense. Ah, oh, I was ready for that fireball that time. This is where we were when we died, I'm pretty sure. Another item of some sort. Screw attack, nice. Alright, now we can jump through these guys. Like so. On like a later game, so it doesn't include the space jump, because that was not included in much of the original one, which we were playing. So you can see I can't repeat the jump in midair. Unless, I mean, I can hold on turbo and jump, but I have to touch the ground before I can jump again. So that does limit its usefulness somewhat, but even so, it's still an really awesome ability. And we can't get through that one. And this allowed us to jump through a flame there, as you saw. Can't kill that guy though. I could jump up there, but maybe not. Just trying to get up there. Which obviously you have to be more far formed to, to do that. There we go. Wow, oh, can't believe I did that that easily on my very first try. Doesn't look like you can go up there though. Alright, we're probably gonna wrap up this stream here once I die. And which will probably be relatively soon. Not that I'm going to intentionally try to, but I'm just saying. Oh my luck. So as you can see, the screw attack makes this a lot easier. And this jump right through, guys, like that. But you have to be in spinning form. If you're not in spinning form, it won't do a screw attack. A regular jump like that that we just did, that won't cause screw attack to happen. As you can see, Samus did not turn rainbow colored. That's your indication that your screw attack was successful. That was a risky there. The jump through there hot freezing on that. Who knows the ceilings are not able to be shot through, but you can still jump through them. Or just sit through the passage. See, normally you would think, don't jump on lava, that'll kill you. Well, this part right here, the lava is not real. Okay, so it's over here first. Probably the pathway to the next area. Well, we're gonna go down here first, though. I'll try to anyway. There we go. Sure, this one's fake or not. Look, this one's fake too. Show it to your friends, you can walk in lava, lava and survive. This is a different area we haven't been on before. With uh, bigger red green things, whatever we're supposed to be. I'm going to go even further down. Well, what's the point of allowing you to bomb down there if you can't go anywhere? You go down like three times and then you can't go any further. That's kind of stupid. Here they were gonna put something there but change your mind. Who knows?
Now, since we can't shoot down this game, it's a lot more difficult to get past these guys, otherwise we could just freeze them and fall the day. The only way to freeze them is to be down in the lava. Which obviously you are trying not to do. That was a dumb idea to jump like that with that guy coming. I got away with it. Oh, there's no save points in this game. Well, there's just passwords. Safe once we're not introduced until Metro 2. I can't remember if we can go through there or not, but I guess not. the energy but end up running in the lava anyway. We can be laying in the lava, did it again, run on top of the DC horse guy. I can't remember if you can get those or not. I guess not. That just was back to the next game. Come on, freeze the guy. Thank you. Lots of bombing, lots of bombing in warfare. Good thing you don't have an unlimited supply of them, because otherwise you'd be running out all the time. It's all often you have to bomb in warfare. No good. Not the hell of at all. I'm not complaining. Surprised. This whole upgrade. Still no stupid energy tanks now. That's another thing you can't do in this game that you can do in later Metro games. If you jump and try to turn the morph, morph ball in midair, you can't do it. As you can see, I'm trying to do it right now, hitting down on the control pad. You can't do it until you land. So in later games, you'd be able to just jump up there and try to bomb the wall on your way down. But in this one, you can't get the bomb down. I don't think I can get through that wall. Okay. I'm flying this friend this disappeared off the screen. Not that I'm complaining. I was gonna come back and screw me over and end up killing me. 
can stay off the screen while you want to sort of them. And the seahorse guy got me. Who's stupid? You can't really walk further. You have to either turn a morph ball for him or bomb the uh, platform you're standing on. And that's a game over for us. Again. Although I third or fourth death in this video? Jeez. I'm doing bad. Alright though. We got the screw attack. We got the high jump boots. We got the second ice beam, which is stupid of us. We probably should have left that. <laughs> Excuse me. We still gotta find the wave beam somewhere. And here's a bunch of missile upgrades and energy tanks to get. And the various suit is something else we have to get.